And for Pogosian, a really good opportunity for him to come to Minnesota too, right? He wasn't playing in Tampa. And, you know, here he's a, an important part of the penalty kill and plays, you know, important minutes for this team. And, yeah, maybe he's not a, a, a top four in a perfect world. If you've got Brodeen and you've got Spurgeon, those guys are, you know, say four, five, six. I mean, th that's a deep defensive core. Dupron Hartman were going at it. And now they drop the gloves. Armitson comes flying in. Well, this all started in the end boards here with Hartman and Dubois. Remember, they were going at it a little bit earlier. And Hartman was looking for Dubois, and Dubois give Hartman a shot, and then Hartman give him a shot, and then Hartman skated up the ice with him and just said, okay, you want to go? And there was no answer, and then Hartman got so the gloves in. And why why is Dubois him? going after Faber at that point? If you're not going to fight, why are you going to go after Faber? Uh, to me, that, that makes no sense. He had plenty of time. Well, he, it, it makes sense knowing that, okay, if I go with Hartman, I'm probably going to get my lunch fed to me. But if I go after Faber, then maybe I got a better chance of uh, winning or having it even out. Hartman has been let off down the Minnesota runway. Middleton to the box. There goes Dubois. I, I don't know how Dubois got free, though, with the linesmen that were there, Bush, because they separated them, and then Hartman was being escorted to the penalty box, and then Dubois started skating away and went into the, uh, into the pile. Let's take a look at how it all started. In behind here. Bush, cross check right there. Okay, no problem. Another cross check, no problem. Hartman says, you want to go? And there was no response. And then Hartman starts punching in. Arvidsson jumps in. Everybody jumps in. So they end up getting separated. There's Dubois. And that's the referee. Excuse me. It was not the linesman. So let's watch here as Dubois comes in, Bush. And this is what you're saying. And then now he pushes it right into favor. And yeah. you're right. I mean... If you wanted to pick a fight, there was one for you earlier. And, yeah. and you think about it, you go back even further. There was a whistle prior several minutes ago where Hartman and Dubois were yeah. having a discussion as well. So it's gone back plenty of time. There's been plenty of time to right. figure out whether you want to fight Hartman or yeah. not. Now, now, I will say this, though, Bush. In, in, in this type of game, if you are Dubois or really anybody, yeah. Why engage in a six, you know, in a six nothing game? That's, I mean, that's, that's probably fair. it. Yeah, that's but, fair. But, but, to your point, you know what Harbin was trying to do, and he said, "I'm not going to go here." But then he goes and then he starts another Favorite, fray, yeah. so to be, yeah. so to speak. So he was trying to pick his poison. Yeah, now look, I, I don't think he was looking to pick a fight with Faber, but he, you know, in a lot of ways, he was. Oh, well, it, it's a, hey. to me, it, it's it's kind of a you're, ask, a, a you're punk, asking it, for it. it if you it's do a it. punk move. I mean, you, you go by him to give him a shove when you had a couple of opportunities with Hartman. Anyway, uh, I think it looks like we probably won't be seeing any of the culprits the rest of the way. So maybe that won't lead to anything. You don't want this game to get out of hand because of you know perhaps some tempers rising. Middleton wondering why he's the only one in the box. Hartman and Dubois have gone to their respective locker rooms. So it will be a power play for Los Angeles. Kings have scored two power play goals, Fiala and Spence.